I often get asked what my favorite slow cooker recipe is. Today, I'm sharing one of our all-time faves, this easy slow cooker taco chili. I'm Christina from It Is A Keeper. I share tried and true recipes that anyone can make. I believe if you can read, you can cook. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm showing you how to make a mashup of two of our favorites, tacos and chili. This easy crock pot chili has all of the warm fuzzies of a slow cooked chili, but with a taco twist. Make sure you stay tuned to the end to learn my favorite tips for making this recipe even faster. And be sure to grab the full printable recipe in the video description below. So the first step in our slow cooker taco chili is to get our ground beef browned. So here I have some ground beef. I'm just going to add it right into this skillet that I have heating over medium heat. I'm also going to add some onion. and some bell pepper. We just want to kind of get this started and let it all come together before we add it to our slow cooker. So I'm just going to break up this beef a bit. You can use an 80-20 or whatever kind you like. Now my favorite tool for breaking up ground beef is this uh, masher. It just really helps get the beef into those nice uh, crumble sizes. So while our beef is cooking, I'm going to add some taco seasoning. I use my own custom blend. You can use a packaged blend. Whatever you have is perfectly fine. I know mine does not have any salt in it. So I am going to add some of my all-purpose seasoning blend as well, just to season the meat with some salt. But if your taco, if you're using a packaged taco seasoning, chances are it has uh, sodium in it, so you wouldn't need to add the salt then. Okay, our beef is coming along nicely. You get, you want to take it off when it's just when the pink just goes away. You don't want to overcook it because remember this is going in the slow cooker for a few hours. So the last thing we want to do is overcook our beef, and this is looking absolutely perfect. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drain off any excess fat and we're gonna transfer all of this into the dish of our slow cooker. All right, so we have our beef transferred into our slow cooker. We're just going to add a couple more ingredients and get this sucker cooking. So I have a can of black beans and kidney beans and we're going to put in both the beans and the liquid. Next up, I have a can of corn that I drained, so the whole thing goes in there. And then we're going to add some crushed tomatoes. Now, I like crushed tomatoes. You could probably use tomato sauce or diced tomatoes. I like the crushed. My guys will pick out the pieces of tomato if they see big chunks of tomato. So the crushed works good for my family. Um, we are also going to add some more taco seasoning. Now you're gonna to wanna to add about two tablespoons here. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of this taco mix. Okay, so I told you earlier that my taco seasoning does not have salt, so I'm also going to add a bit of my all-purpose seasoning blend just to add some salt in here as well. All right, last but not least, we're gonna add a couple cups of water to the slow cooker. Looking good. Give everything a nice stir. All right. And we're gonna pop this either on low for seven hours or high for three hours, depending on how much time you have. Okay, I think our slow cooker chili is done. Oh. Just look at this. There is so much going on in here and it smells amazing. All right, so I am going to scoop myself up a nice big bowl of this deliciousness. Just look at this. You can pretty much see the flavor bursting through, but I really wish you could smell it. It's amazing. So before we dig in, we gotta top this up with some delicious toppings. So here I have some sliced green onions 
and a little bit of cheese. I like Colby Jack, I just love the way that melts. And of course, no chili is complete without a dollop of sour cream. And this is a taco chili, remember? So we have some tortilla strips for the top. I mean, just look at that. It's so inviting. Now, if you want to get a jump start on this recipe, you can easily cook the beef the day before and then just toss it in the slow cooker when you're ready to make the chili. Or, like what I would do, make a big batch of the beef with the peppers and onions and freeze it in recipe sized portions. So all you need to do is thaw, dump, and go. Now, I cannot wait to dig into this bowl. So I am going in. Right here. Get some sour cream. I mean, just look at that. Everything you would have in a taco is in the chili. Mm. Oh, there is so much flavor in here. Mm. If you really want to hit up that spiciness and get some nice smoky spicy going, I would add a little bit of chipotles and adobo to this. That is like my secret ingredient for kicking up the flavor of chili. But I'll tell you what, just like this, I don't think it needs anything else. Mm. The slow cooker taco chili is definitely a keeper. It's one of our family's favorites and I think you will love it too. There are so many great chili recipes out there. I have an award-winning stovetop chili recipe you can make in under 40 minutes. You don't wanna miss it, you can check it out here. I'll see you over there.